This weekend, the world's largest art dealer right here in Metro Detroit will feature work from all around. Up next, a local artist joins us with a closer look at his creations and all the variety you can see at Park West. You're watching 7 Action News this morning on TV 20 Detroit. Some of the top collectors will be in Metro Detroit tomorrow into the weekend to admire artwork from near and far. Here now with more on the artists coming to Southfield's Park West Galleries, Detroit native and artist Tim Yankee, who's been working on his displays as well. Good morning, Tim. How are you? Good morning, Ellie. How are you? Good, good. So, Tim, what inspired yeah. you to become an artist? You know what? Encouragement from my friends and my parents, they always said, hey, you've got a great uh, personality, you got a great uh, creativity, uh, your imagination's there. And they encouraged me ever since a little boy. And uh, uh, I continued to con draw and hone in on my skills in illustrating, uh, then into graphics. And then, you know, 30 years later, 40 years later, here I am, a uh, global artist painting abstracts and, and the Southwest themes. And it's really, really, uh, I went to school actually received a degree, a uh, Bachelor of Fine Arts, and I'm applying what I learned in school to, uh, to painting, to color theory, composition, and it's taken me around the world and uh, on the cruise ships, and now I'm part of the largest privately owned art gallery in the world, Park West Gallery, which is right down the street here, so uh, the hard work paid off. I love that. I love that you had all of that support to help you get to where you're at today. So you're that was known, important, yes. Absolutely. You're known for your abstract styles, which are very yes. popular. Out of that abstracts, uh, out of your abstract uh, paintings or styles, w which pieces are your favorites? Probably the abstracts, because those really come from within here. Uh, there's, there's a bunch of different... Uh, themes or series that I'll start, uh, Native American or indigenous people, uh, uh, the, the, the patriotic series with the flags, the thin red line, the thin blue line, uh, the Yankee, with the last name Yankee, you gotta paint the flag, right? And, <laughs> and, and, and uh, the whole New York Yankee series of the Brooklyn Bridge, Flatiron Building, uh, uh, the Statue of Liberty. But the abstract is something that I think, I believe is innate in all of us. Uh, and, it, and as we, were, as we grew, grew older, we were told to stay within the lines of the coloring book and it's gotta look like something. Well, I never took that. I kept on the exit of being abstract and, and really going in and painting from within here uh, rather than technical skills and, and drafting abilities. I was even one day, I wanted to be an architect at one time and another, but, but the abstract I think is something that's really, really deep seated in all of our psyche. And it is a beautiful thing every day to be able to paint something that is based on emotion, mood, music, uh, anything that's flying into your head and to rely on spontaneity. I don't know how many careers you can have in the world that relies on spontaneity and, and just application of just crazy colors and just, and, and just marrying yourself and going along with the painting like a dance. Uh, that I, I'm blessed every single day to be able to paint. What are you currently working on? Uh, uh, well, I'm currently working on all these ideas that I've had for the last two years with COVID. Uh, the last several years, I've had these ideas of one day when it's a rainy day, I'm gonna get to this, or one day I'll get to that. With COVID, my travels have been cut down in half. We were traveling all around the world, uh, but I'm getting to those concepts and ideas that I always wanted to get to, and that's you know painting on, on buffalo skulls. You know, this, this, is, this is for uh, an event in Dallas, painting with uh, using lenticular lenses. Um, I'm even dropping uh, buffalo skulls as we speak. <laughs> You're and, so excited. Even, <laughs> and, and we've even got a AR, the augmented reality, hold up phone, and the painting comes alive. So we're getting to the things that taking taking art with technology and taking it to the next level, opposed to maybe just two-dimensional paintings with just crazy colors and canvas. So you've got to think outside of the box. And with, with the pandemic and everything, it's really allowed me to venture into those uncharted waters. That's so, so cool. I'm so always, I'm always thinking. So real quick here, we have a couple seconds. Where can viewers yeah. find your work? Yeah, parkwestgallery.com, right? We're eight miles away, right in Southfield, just north of 12 mile. Uh, it's a beautiful, it's Park West Museum. It's free, uh, free admission. Uh, I think they're open seven days a week, but uh, we're gonna be inviting collectors that have collected published paintings of mine. In fact, we're having a fly in, we're flying them all in, we're putting them up at the Townsend Hotel. We're doing a meet and greet, and they're going to come over here and have a, a little happy hour, talk about art, and it's kind of a thank you for them collecting because to be an artist, to have a published painting in your lifetime is pretty rare, but to have several paintings that are published 
and to have people collect them from all around the world is just rewarding. It's so and I'm looking forward to having amazing. this group come in. Yep. Yes, absolutely. I, I'm, 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 thank you. Yep, Detroit native and abstract artist Tim Yankee, thank you so much for being here with us this morning. You bet. Thank you.